And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show brings you Diamond Dynasty Baseball. It's the San Francisco Giants taking on Durham. First pick. Pitch coming your way next. And now it's going to be Blake Leading Sable. For San Francisco, the catcher, number two, Blake Sable. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses. And we are underway. Strike two. Left hand hitter waits. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Darvish, who's played for the Rangers, Dodgers, Cubs, and Padres, but he's been an all-star in both leagues, Singy. An all-star and a fan favorite has really become an endeared player to the Padres fans there. They got a mural painted of him somewhere in the city. Austin Slater stands in. Swings through that one. 0-1. Yeah, there's the strike. And a pitch. And down on strikes. Back to back strikeouts. Tyro Estrada to the plate. The designated hitter, Tyro Estrada. Base knock center field. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. Chris, you Darvish debuted with the Rangers back in 2012. It's been a pretty successful big league career. He's been an all-star multiple times and a guy with all those pitches. He gives Pitchcom a run for its money, I think you'd say. Estrada leads off first with two down to the inning. The next pitch misses one and one. Yeah, I remember when he came into the league and talking about seven, eight pitches that this guy had. And wow, you're just scratching your head if you're a hitter. What do you look for? Right hander kicks deals. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And a ball and two strikes. On the ground to the left. And foul ball. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Back here at the ballpark, and stepping in is the speedy Ricky Henderson. And he deals. And ball one. And if there's one man you want to keep off the base paths, it's this guy right here, Ricky Henderson, the undisputed stolen base king. That one ripped. Hanniger going back, back some more. He hits the wall and hangs on. Great catch. Oh, well, that takes a that lot of concentration to haul it in time. when you know that right wall is about to stop you Rubber. in your tracks. Really nice play and nice focus right there. Brandon Crawford in now. Takes ball one off the plate. That's outside. Now 2-0. One down, base is empty. Foul ball. And 
And a righty deals. Oh, what a stop. Gathers and throws on the money. Nice play. Nice diving stop good. right there. Gets the, the out. Third Great third reactions. Yeah. Excellent job of finishing the play with a nice, easy throw. Two outs, base is empty. Here's a big power threat. Troy Gloss. Line drive, base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Now I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Absolutely hammered that, that baseball cool. very loud right coming here. off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. Right and here. at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. In the air, out towards right center. Slater grabs it on the run. Welcome back. Second Leading inning set to go. And digging in for San Francisco, Brandon Crawford. First pitch just misses. Brandon Crawford, a player who has been a stalwart at shortstop for the San Francisco Giants, helped them win World Series in 2012 and 2014. And he comes from a line of Giants fans. His parents, Mike and Lynn, they had Giant season tickets. They took Brandon to games all the time growing up. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Snuck the fastball by him. Mike Yastrzemski up here. First offering, misses the mark. Well, that ball was hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike, you go after him and finish him off. The 2 1. Liner, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. All over that one right there. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's going to make you feel really good inside. If he elevates that a little bit more, it's definitely out of here. Now it's J.D. Davis. That hits the dirt, and it's 1-0. Oh. There's a strike. Yastrzemski at first, one gone. And there's a rocket into the outfield, and that's going to roll to the wall. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Batting it. The first baseman, number 23. And Jack Peterson John. stands in. Peterson. First pitch, and he just misses. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Ripped on the ground a second. There's one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. And welcome back. Here's Mike Trout. The right-hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. At 30 years old, Mike Trout, 1,000 runs, 300 homers, 200 stolen bases. The only other players in Major League history with those numbers at that age, A-Rod and Willie Mays. Slater makes the grab one away. Man, is he fast. That is so fun to watch. Here's Shohei Otani. Otani. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And strike two. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. The next offering misses, and the count is one and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And here is C.J. Crone. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Out to short. 
Crawford throws to first in time. That is the inning. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the second baseman, Wilmer Flores. And first offering is fouled off. Flores hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he was born in Venezuela. On the ground, Cronenworth tosses to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Blake Sable, the next giant to hit. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, one. One. There's a strike. Two. No ball, two strikes. Just oh, misses with that one. It's a good take. Got him swinging. <laughs> Digging in, Austin Slater. Austin Slater. Ball one, no strikes. Top of the third, no score. Next offering is in for a strike. One and one. And the slider Whoa, just that? misses. This batter has to understand his job is to get on base however he can. If he gets hit by a pitch, if he walks, maybe even singles. But you want to get the heart of the order up to the plate. That's out number three. Welcome back. Stepping in the long ball threat, Jake Cronenworth. Cobb back to work. Hard hit left side. Over to first. And a quick out number one. Here's Adley Rutschman. Adley Rutschman singing first overall pick out of Oregon State. What a college career he had. He helped the Beavers win the 2018 College World Series, and he was named the most outstanding player of the tournament. Yeah, I found it interesting that in his rookie season, number many three, baseball experts 24. said that he was the best rookie. catcher in the big leagues at the time. Henderson, Henderson oh. in the box for the second time. Oh, One ball, no, no strikes. strikes. That misses the zone. Two balls, no strikes. Bounce to the left side. Dives, and he can't hang on. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Here's Brandon Crawford. Grounded out his first time up. Brandon Crawford. In there, and it's 0-1. The kick and the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a ball popped up. And that'll fall for a base hit. The throw is wild and it gets away. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. He probably would have been able to drive that pitch on the outside if he let it just get a little deeper and look to hit it to the opposite field. But he made it work out. Now here is Troy Gloss. Henderson on third. Crawford on at first with two down. 0-2 oh as he oh, waves at that one. Real ugly 0-1 oh swing right there. As a pitcher, got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance and send him back to the dugout. Righty delivers. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Huge strike out there. And welcome back. On to the fourth. And now it's the Giants DH. Tyro Estrada. Tyro Estrada. And here it comes. And there's the strike. All these Giants, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll nope. see, but ball I think one. they have to. One ball, two strikes. The one-two. 
Out to short, Crawford. To first, and Estrada is out. Well, oh, we talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder, wow, really impressive. Hanniger batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Out to short, Crawford. The throw to first, and a couple of quick outs. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Crawford in the box now. No balls and a strike. Strike two. No balls, two strikes. Here's the 0-2. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Bottom of the inning. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Well, these guys just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. I think things are happening a little quicker than this offense would like, and we see it in the numbers. They're hitting into a lot of outs early in the at-bat. There's a strike. One ball, two strikes. In the dirt. Up with it. Fires to first. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Just not a good pitch to swing at. One reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off of that junk. Trout at the plate now. That's ball one. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Yastrzemski gets under it. And yeah, there's two away. Shohei Otani up to the dish. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Up the middle. Flores out of first. And they get Otani for the out. Third out, and that ends the frame. New inning getting started. And digging in for San Francisco, Mike Yastrzemski. That's in for a strike. All these Giants oh, just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches oh, has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Now it's J.D. Davis. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. All ones the count. And the pitch. That nope, one missed. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. And now Jack Peterson. First pitch, just misses. Ball one, no strike. Two outs. Swings and misses. It's a ball and two strikes. And now two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Next pitch misses, and now it's three and two. Hard ground ball, base knock.
Well, that'll oh, make you feel good as a hitter right there. The he wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good, balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. And now it's Wilmer oh, Flores. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Yeah. And he takes a strike. And a ground ball to first. They get the force, oh. and that'll do it. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And here's the first baseman, C.J. Crone. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. C.J. Crone can hit a ball a long way. In 2022, he had a 504-foot home run that was one foot shy of the longest homer ever tracked by StatCast. Nomar Mazzara hit one 505 feet. Yeah, that home run tied John Carlos Stanton's 504-foot home run at Coors Field when he was with the Marlins in 2016. The wide to kick the pitch. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Not in time. He's safe. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now Jake Cronenworth. Kicks and deals. And downstairs. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory get yourself into scoring position and a four pitch walk he's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this but he's gonna have to buckle down right here and time called at the plate Maybe trying to slow things down here at a crucial spot. Rutschman in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Now a high fly ball out to left center. And it's into the gap. One runs in. The second run scores. He's safe at third. It's a two-run triple. Nicely done. Brings home two. Came screaming off the bat, I'm sure. Exit velocity's off the charts. No doubt he squared that baseball up perfectly. So there was no fluke to that triple by any means. Next to hit, Ricky Henderson. Now he steps out of the box as he asks for time. The 1 0. Just oh, missed. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know, these 2 0 counts, Boo, they're just not what they used to be. And we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. Out towards left center, Yastrzemski sizes this one up, makes a nice run and catch. Runner tagging from third. He's in on the sack fly. It's three zip. Well, he's always capable of losing now one over the it. fence. He might have just missed it right there, but a good job to drive in that run from third. And fouled off. You won. And a foul ball. The 0-2. Ball one, one ball. there. Still only one out here in the inning. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two away. So up next, Troy Gloss. First offering, misses the mark. Swings through that one for strike one. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. Crawford gets it to first, and that is that.
back here at the ballpark. Top Leading of the sixth inning. Good. And here's the catcher, Blake Sable. Blake Sable. Darvish back to work. Line drive. That's a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. The center fielder, number 13. And up Austin next for San Francisco, Slater. Austin Slater. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But you know, at the very oh, least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. That's towards center. Makes the grab after a long run. And there's one down. Next will be the Up Giants DH. Tyro Estrada. One for two. Tyro Estrada. On the ground to third. And it's through for a hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now one out. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Hanniger in the box now. Takes strike one. Ground ball could be two. Feed to second. That's one. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. Back down for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Scott Alexander. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Yastrzemski now in the box oh, comes up empty with a swing there. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Well, it looks like he just got out of himself a little bit right there. He's looking for a ball in and to attack that pitch looked like a half hearted swing. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Now Ugly cut on the slider for strike three. Pretty impressive wow. lineup. Mike Trout hitting this far down in the order. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Mike Trout, the 25th overall pick in the 2009 draft. He was actually a compensation. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly, but plenty of time to recover. And that's the second out. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the DH, Shohei Otani. And that's down and away. Otani measures six feet, four inches, 28 years old. And he was born in Japan. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Japan has made a major impact on Major League Baseball over these last few decades. We've seen players completely change the game. That one misses. Two and one. Two balls, one strike. Way inside, gets out of the way. Swing and a miss, three and two now. Two down, nobody on. Hard hit, right side. On to Peterson, and they get Otani for the out. That's the inning. Welcome back, top of inning number seven. And digging in for San Francisco, Brandon Crawford. The pitch. Foul ball there. Right into the plate. That's the ball. And yeah, there's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. The Mike Yastrzemski, the next giant Mike to hit. Yastrzemski. 
I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands, and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. The third baseman, number seven. J.D. Davis getting ready to hit. Now time called. Pitching coach coming out for a meeting as two relievers continue to throw in the bullpen. Darvis checks on the runner. Yastrzemski back in standing. Just could not get in sync and even guess right. When you talk about guessing in the game, it's really anticipation and sort of going with what the highest probability pitch, velocity, location at that point of the at bat is. Comes up empty on the swing, 0 and 2 now. Next pitch has popped up, and there's two away. Here's Jack Peterson. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. 0 and 1. Oh. And that's downstairs and outside. No, oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay ah, up. that ends the inning. So we take a break. With a traditional seven-inning stretch. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the first baseman, C.J. Crone. C.J. Crone. The pitch. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. Good eye right there. And there's a ball. And a pitch. The other way, and he beats the shift. Well, patience and discipline paid off right the there as he got into the an advantage count. Now. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had no, eyes no, on no. it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Cronenworth, the next to hit, takes ball one. He's 0 for 1. Crone on at first. Nobody out. That one the other way. Davis to second. Throw to first, but he beat it. Adley Rutschman will hit next. A switch hitter batting right. Adley Rutschman. First pitch, not close. Good eye right there. Working down to the zone to start the at bat. Looking for that double play ground ball. Yeah, back to back sinkers there. He's looking for some weak contact or to get this hitter to roll over. Now, as a hitter, you have to be really disciplined. Don't look down because you'll end up chasing the ball down. Set your sights high. Maybe you get a mistake. That misses the zone. And the count is three and one. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Over to Flores. That's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. And welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. And digging in for San Francisco, Wilmer Flores. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Now the 0-1. There's the swing and a miss. No Just an outstanding right. job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. And the 0-2. And That's that one ball. missing low. One ball, two strikes. 
And a ball evens the count. And a swing and a miss. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Sabre, batting with one down, takes a strike. And that one is lifted in the air. He's got it, and there's two away. Two outs, base now is empty. Back. And the now the center fielder, Austin, Austin Slater. Slater. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on his way out to the mound. Dre Jamison taking over on the mound. He's into the game, but the base is empty. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Now pitching. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Next one misses, and it's two and one. The other way. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Johnny Brebbia comes on now. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. comes a pitch Henderson the leadoff batter as he looks at ball one that's a little bit low and a pitch and it is two and one nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike that tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch the two one is high And there's ball four. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. Man at first, and that'll bring up Brandon Crawford. In there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Next one is off the plate. One ball, one strike. At the belt and fires. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. Throw save. That's a stolen base. The one two. That's inside. Runner at second. Nobody out. Runner goes again. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya. Brandon Crawford blasts one out. And they throw a pair on the board. It's five zip. Well, you can see he was out front just a little bit. Maybe didn't recognize the changeup earlier, but he got the bat head to it, hooked it down the line, and was able to keep it fair for a long home run. Really impressive. And now here is Troy Gloss. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. Hit hard, base hit. Now he turns and heads for second. Freeman headed for third. And he's got himself a triple. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Really stayed inside that baseball to send it to the opposite field. With the shift on to the pole side, that's an easy knock if you'll take it. Number 72 on the pitch out of the pen here. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers in their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Yastrzemski stands in now, looks at that one inside. 
Right side, hard hit. Flores out of first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. The center fielder, Mike Trout. That one misses in the dirt. Yeah, that's outside. Got to be real careful here. 2-0. He's hunting for his pitch. Yeah, now two balls and a strike. Well, that's today's style of baseball right there, right? Big time velo on the bump and big time pop in the plate. Ground ball up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He doesn't have a throw, and they don't get an out on the play. So now here's the DH, Shohei Otani. That one's in there. That's strike one. Trout, the base runner at first with one out. Hand up as he asks for time at the plate. This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Trout on the move. Swing and a miss. Pro City! C.J. Crone digs in now. Move to second. Now back to second. Yeah, they're keeping him close. Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. Ball outside. Out at third. And that ends the inning. Staying in the game on defense, Freddie Freeman. He'll play third after coming into the game as a pinch hitter. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Shohei Otani. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. And now it's the Giants' DH, Tyro Estrada. The designated hitter, Tyro Estrada. And the pitch. There's the strike. And it's quickly nothing in two on the designated hitter. Next offering is downstairs. And that's in the dirt. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger. And there's a foul ball. Right-handed reliever. And that one fouled off. Got it by him for the K. Here's Crawford now. Open stance on that left side. Shortstop, Brandon. Brandon Crawford, a kid who grew up a Giants fan. His dad had season tickets at Candlestick hey. Park and then at, what was it initially, Pac Bell Park. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Ball Next offering there. misses down and away. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. 
Good win by six runs. Always nice when you can win by a touchdown or a couple of field goals. You want to keep that momentum going, knowing the offense can score at will, bring it into the next one and get another W. 6 nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.